In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a wireless battery powered sensor that will work with Home Assistant using BT Home. So um, the first thing you need is Home Assistant uh, on a Raspberry Pi, it's very easy to do. Uh, the instructions are really good, just, just follow the tutorial. You basically just need a um, Raspberry Pi imager um, and then that'll write data to the SD card, whack the SD card in, leave it a few minutes and you're good to go. What we need for the sensor is PuckJS. This is a Esprino JavaScript device. Uh, it looks like this. Inside the box, there's one of these PCBs, which has a bunch of sensors, as well as the microcontroller and Bluetooth. And the whole thing can be scripted in JavaScript and runs off a little watch battery. So um, to use it, we go to esprino.com forward slash IDE and we just Click connect up the top left, choose the PuckJS device, and you get a, uh, a REPL, which is like a, a terminal to the device. So you can, you can write commands that will actually run on the device, uh, or you can write code on the right-hand side in the editor and just send it to the device, uh, either to flash so it always runs, or to RAM so that it, um, uh, so that it runs basically until it runs out of battery and then it's, it's gone from RAM. We just use RAM for, um, for developing because it's, it's nice and easy. So um, this is obviously flashing the light, but we want to detect when a door's open and closed. So we can use a magnetometer for this and a magnet. Um, there's an example of doing that on the Espino website. This one is actually to use the infrared transmitter on the puck to control an infrared light but we're just gonna use this example, which um, flashes the light when the door's opened or closed. So put that on, upload it, and hopefully we will see it flashes red or green when the, um, when the magnet's near it. Red for door opened when and the ma magnet's away, and green again when it's near. So now we want to take this code and use it with BT Home. There's a BT Home library for Esprino, which, which makes sending the, the protocol out really easy. Um, this one advertises battery and temperature, but we are just gonna use this example, which does battery temperature, and when a button is pressed, it fires off an event, which allows you to really easily hook onto it with Home Assistant and make things happen. So we just copy it, paste it into here. Um, we'll do that right at the start. And you can see that here, when a button is pressed, we call this function with either long press or press, depending on the state of the button. Uh, well, depending on whether the button has been pressed a long time or a short time. But for this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and instead of whether it's a long time or a short time, we're just gonna say whether the door is open or closed. So if we upload this, Oh, we might as well change this from sensor to say door. So now this is working as we expect still. We're going to disconnect so it can advertise data. And then we're going to see if it appears in Home Assistant. So in Home Assistant, you just go to settings, devices and services, BT Home. Um, you should see the device in Discovered, but because I've been using this device before, it's not there. And I click Add Entry because I removed it before. Choose it from the list. So I want to add it to my house. Finish. And now you can click on one device here. And you can see the logbook for when things have happened, temperature and battery. So if I put this near, you can see the logbook updates. Now, I have a remote controlled socket um, that's already paired with my Home Assistant um, instance, so I can click Create an Automation. When the button is pressed, say, we add an action to a device. My thing is called Socket 1, and we'll go for Turn On Relay there. Uh, now we'll do another one. 
which was for the long press. Add condition device, socket one, turn off relay, save. So now, if I put this close, it will turn on the light. If I take it away, hopefully it will turn it off. There we go. Um, and it was just that easy, just a few minutes and you have a wireless Bluetooth sensor which will last for pretty much a year on, um, on the little CR2032 coin cell that's in there. It'll report its battery usage, um, even the current temperature, um, and it's very flexible and easy to update to, um, to detect and report whatever you want. Um, yeah, whether that's uh, the angle of it using the accelerometer or the gyro um, or something using the magnetometer or the built-in temperature sensor. Um, yeah, it's really nice and easy and flexible. Thanks for watching.